this town, and the man came up to us and said, there's a factory about a mile down the road, and you will find a lot of Jewish women in there that were dropped there, and the SS is guarding them, SS men and SS women. So we raced down there, two of us in a jeep, and uh, long, long stretched building, a shed I would call it. We opened the, the, this shed, we went in there. And then you saw uh, women on, on, on the floor, on, on wooden pallets. When I say women, you saw skeletons. You saw, they didn't know whether men or women or children. They were uh, unbelievable views. I mean, no, no hair, they were all shorn on their heads. Rags hanging on them, no shoes. Bones instead of faces. And the stench was so horrible. It's hard to describe. When we found them, unfortunately, many uh, of the GI's friends of mine gave them food, which was the worst thing to do. Their stomachs were shriveled into nothing, and we lost at least another 40 during the first night that were too far gone. And I don't say the food killed them. I'm not saying they wouldn't have died anyway, but this is what happened. The American army did not help we found these women, but army policy was that these were the displaced persons. We had no jurisdiction over them. We had to wait till UNRWA, which was the beginning of the United Nations, the relief organizations, took care of them. Every day counted. All these matters would have taken another month, two months. Bureaucracy takes a long time. So the only way these women survived is by People like myself and about five, six other um, Jewish GIs, uh, officers, took matters into our own hands. There was a hospital in town, a German field hospital. And I went down there and a colonel confronted me. He was the prototype, if you can think of it, of Colonel Klink, a doctor. And I said, we would like half the hospital evacuated so that we can bring these women in. He said, I stand on the Geneva Convention, I will not move my wounded. We have people with amputees and so on, German soldiers. So I grabbed him by the neck and I took him into the Jeep down to the shed. I said, here's your Geneva Convention. Now you got one hour to clean out the hospital. In one hour, they were all out. We took the women into the hospital, little by little. You could only put two stretchers on the Jeep. 